Good day, everybody. Today, we're going to begin mold preparation. So my shellac has dried, and as you can see, it's a nice, slick, glossy surface. It's coated everything. There's a few little tiny bumps, and obviously the holes here. A um, little tiny spot. I have one here, a little depression. Uh, I must have sat it down on something, or who knows what. But anyways... Um, the next step I'm going to do is use mold wax, put some mold wax on it. I have two products here that I'm going to be applying before I do any fiberglassing at all. And one is Pardol Paste Number 2. And what this is, this is a mold release uh, wax. So <clears throat> theoretically, this alone should be enough to separate my part. Um, on initial... Uh, molding cycles you should apply three to four times over this and uh, from everything I've read you should wait an hour in between those coats to let it dry it doesn't say that on here but that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply a coat buff it out wait an hour apply another coat buff it out wait an hour um, <clears throat> but one coat is adequate for three to five molding cycles on a seasoned mold so we'll see but I don't want to just depend on this so I also have some PVA, which this uh, you would spray, brush, or something over it, and this would dry, and this would cure to whatever you're putting onto it. Then, well, whatever you're putting onto it would bond to this, but then this uh, is water soluble, so it wipes right off. Um, and that way, if you have trouble separating your mold and you can't get it, you have another sacrificial layer that's water soluble as well, so you could soak it in water, and then it would separate. We'll see how I feel. I might just do four coats of that and then some of this and see what I think about it, if it looks slick enough. So I've never opened this. I've never seen it. I've never used it. <clears throat> Today is the day. Hmm. Looks kind of waxy and pasty. Oh yeah, that's kind of waxy and pasty, all right. So it says you want to do three to square Three to four foot square, square foot area. Pretty much what you can handle. Let's see, let's make sure we get it all in there. Anywhere where there's depressions, let's let her fill them up. Hopefully. Then it says to let it dry for approximately a minute before you uh, buff it out. And jam some in there. Pack it in wax. What does it say here specifically? All right, now let's see. Um, begin buffing when moderately dry, approximately one minute after application wax removal might be different or maybe difficult if you wait longer now we'll get a clean rag here to buff it out this is where i started and now you want to buff it out till you get a high polish so it definitely seems nothing like turtle wax so far you can see it's like waxing up this so doing waxy things that looks like a high polish Put some on this side now. All right, now let's buff it out. All right, there we go. Now let's let it sit for an hour. So I'm planning on putting lights inside the fiberglass of the fender. Let's see how this comes off. I'm going to try 
some mineral or I'm gonna try some acetone and see if it'll come off easily. All right, so now I'm gonna get the rest of it all stripped off. That couple inches there took a while. So I wouldn't necessarily say easily, but it does work. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna strip it all down. All right, so a few minutes later, I got this all wiped off and wiped down. Um, and what you'll notice is that it messed up all this clear side. The acetone kind of ate that. But that's okay, because I don't want that on there anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully work my way in there on the tip and then peel it back so this is like a clear covering that's originally on there it's originally stuck to it there we go all right so it's been about an hour let's get on with our second coat All right, and there's that one's second coat. Coat two, done. There we go, coat three done. All right, so I'm gonna be using this uh, PVA here. <sighs> I guess let's try a brush. I don't know it's gonna turn out while well using a brush. We shall see. Well, at least this is the inside, so the brush strokes on it won't really matter. <laughs> All right, now it doesn't say how many coats I want to put on it, but it says to put several coats, because I want to make sure that there's even coverage and a wet coat like that should take approximately 45 minutes to dry completely. Time for coat number two of the PVA. It's been about 40 minutes. It's nice and dry, so it should be like hard and shiny when it's dry uh, and transparent. So it is time for the next. So new molds, it says, you want to be approximately four mold mils thickness. So let's shoot for that. Um, I have no clue <laughs> how to measure, but we're going to go for it. Trying to put this stuff on thicker on the brush anyway, so it'll kind of run out. So hopefully I won't have to chase it too many times. Because like I said, I don't know if I'm pulling off the previous layer while I'm doing this, you know. Oh no. Well, there's another coat. Done. Now let's uh, wait another 40 minutes and do it again. All right, well, my PVA is on here, and it's dried on the top. There's a little, some runs down lower that are not. But I have these lights that I would, that I wish to stick to the mold here. So I have this water clear epoxy 330 here. Um, I'm going to try and use it to bond this on and seal those voids 
and also it will encapsulate the lights themselves, the strips, so to keep them waterproof. So my whole idea of trying to do this in the glass is so that way it's not attached to the underside of the fender impeding on the tire clearance. Well, I don't know if this is going to happen very quickly. <laughs> but it's going to happen. As you can see, this is already starting to set now. It's getting thicker and stringy. So I need to wrap this up here and get it into position. All right, I gotta stick it. I'll have to uh, put it on the end here afterward. All right, now we'll let that cure up, and uh, then another day I'll come and I'll start laying the fiberglass itself. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. <laughs>